Okay, this is my setup uh, for spinning for salmon. It's a uh, 10 foot, uh, three piece, uh, 15 to 60 gram rod, which means it can cast about two ounces. There's plenty of backbone in the rod. The reel is a 6,000. Now, you can get away with a 4,000 or 6,000 series, but you need a strong reel. That's why I go for the 6,000. Um, good strength. You, in high water, you're going to have the bully fish, so you're going to need a strong reel. Lighter reels is just going to tear up the cogs. That's why people keep replacing reels every year. They're using undergunned reels, so anything between the 4,000 and 6,000 will do. Um, the braid I use is high visibility braid. It's uh, 13 to 15 kilo. Um, as you can see, I fill it out well. So I get a good few years from my braid, so it's worth spending the money. Now, the simple setup is um, braid. I put it through the guides. The braid is here. First thing I use are um, very, very, well, not very large, but large enough um, swivels, chrome swivels. So, as you can see, they're quite large. The reason being is that um, they don't uh, curl up the braid as much. You know, you won't get that many tangles from using oversized. I see a lot of guys using smaller swivels. That's why you're going to get tangles with the braid. So it's a little trick. It does work for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the braid through the swivel. And I'm going to make, form a loop. And I'm going to make what I call a four turn uni knot. It's the only knot I use for all my spinning. So. Just go through four times. One, two, three, and four. Moisten it, pull tight. Another trick is I use snips. The close side is for the braid, the far side is for the mono or the fluorocarbon. So you don't get mixed up because you will destroy the, the, uh, the slips, so keep it to one side. Now, my fluorocarbon is very simple. 20 pound fluorocarbon. I only use three feet, two and a half, three feet, so just measure by the arm and snip. Again, it's the same knot. It's a four turn union knot. So, through the swivel, make a loop, and as I said, four times true. Now, I have a video on YouTube showing the four turn uni knot. So, I'll put a link at the bottom of this video to the knot. Pull tight, moisten, tight again, pull it in, test it, and snip. Always leave a small tag. Trust me, it's just a safety procedure, but it works. There you go. Now, as I said, three feet. Now, flying seas. I use size three, four, and five. Uh, mainly black and silver, black and gold, but black and silver would be probably my most productive. Um, with the size three, medium to high water. Size four, high water. And size five would be very high water. A lot of guys are using size threes and size fours, not gaining any depth, wondering why they're not catching fish. That's why. Now, we've got a size, size four. And again, it's the same principle. Four turn uni knot. Very simple. So I'll put it through. Loop. Four turns, one, two, three, four, pull, moisten. And there you go. Again, just snip and leave a tag end. Not much, as I said. No, little tricks. One, put the trees here. Right, small little tricks. One. 
if you fishing during the day check your hooks make sure they're sharp if they're not and you have no sharpener with you off the edge of rocks it will do it also make sure they're all nicely in line if it's open you're not going to catch fish it's going to be worse um, because the fish will open it even more another little trick before I start fishing I always make sure tension is set and now anybody that knows me that's what I want I want a tight tension I don't want a loose tension and I don't change the tension throughout the fight it stays the same after all you have 20 pound fluorocarbon a very strong um, uh, swivel 13 to 15 kilo braid and a strong backbone rod and reel so you're not going to break okay so the trick is as I said bring the fish in fast land them fast release them fast okay so that's my simple setup it works for me everybody's asking what I do that's all but the knots are perfect uh, the tension is set perfectly and the rest is up to the fish okay there you go